Hi everyone, uh, welcome to dev vlog number three. My name is James, indie game developer for uh, Candy Cabinets. This is a quick demo vlog about our game Sage Chronicles Mystery at Rollon Manor. If you haven't watched my previous vlogs, you can click here at the top right uh, info to watch it. Um, and uh, just a quick introduction about me and Candy Cabinets. I'm a C Sharp developer during the day and in the game developer every free time I have. Uh, and if you haven't uh, seen my other blog post in my website, um, we are now collaborating with a very talented pixel artist. Uh, his name Jetro or Jetro Pixel. So let's uh, go to my blog. Oh, it's just down here. Here we go. Yep, his logo. Just introducing him in my blog. So if you want, you can actually uh, look at his uh, Facebook page. This is him. And this is one of our concept art for the new game that we're uh, <clears throat> collaborating. So he does Facebook. Uh, he also has other social medias. And he, he also do, uh, you know, s speed drawings uh, of his uh, pixel artwork uh, in TikTok. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, very excited to have him on board and create our artwork for the game. Cool. So for this demo, I'm going to show you what I've finished for this week. But this is more about our collaboration with um, Jetro. And let's do it. So I'll be showing you my Unity interface. Obviously, I'm a C Sharp developer, so I am most comfy with doing Unity. <clears throat> cool. So, this is our nicely cute character uh, that's going that's we're going to use for our game. Um, yep, uh, it's pretty awesome so far. It's animating so we have animation we've already drawn animations for uh, uh, the idle uh, state the um, walking plus running state and also the jumping state we have a couple of more uh, you know animations to draw but this is you know pretty fantastic for for a week for a weeks uh, you know of work and Jethro just you know smashed it <laughs> first first day uh, of us collaborating he was just drawing and was just you know giving me ideas and it's nice uh, to have uh, you know a new face uh, to to talk to especially when you're just uh, doing games by yourself for a couple of months and now yeah we have here a fresh new approach to what we want for our game uh, and yeah uh, everything is now working so how do we do it so Usually we do it uh, via one of another tool that we use, which is uh, Asaprite. Uh, that's where we actually create our our pixel art, and I polish it up. Uh, he gives me not just the artwork, but also the frame by frame animation. So it's really really cool to have someone you know animate it for you. the The thing is with pixel art you need to make sure that it is hand-drawn animation or else you will probably have a quirky looking pixel art you know animating if you use the uh, unity engine or any other engine that's just trying to render the pixel art uh, in in its motion and then you will see some quirky uh, rendering <clears throat> if you have you know hand-drawn pixel art like this it's really smooth and we'll probably show this to you um, next week uh, once we actually finish all these stuff. So yeah, uh, as you can see, we have walking is done, idle is done, and let's, uh, I told you jumping is done. Oops, <laughs> my bad. Uh, jumping is not done. Uh, the hair uh, is not yet uh, put in place. Well, Actually, that's a good uh, 
good thing because I can demo it to you how I actually put the, the hair. Uh, probably I put the hair, uh, or I just forgot. Yeah, I just forgot. Yep. Okay, so here's how it goes. Um, I use uh, the sprite uh, libraries uh, built in for Unity. And how it works is if we go to one of these models, <clears throat> I use a sprite renderer and then I use sprite libraries to get all these, uh, you know, frame by frame pixels of the animation. So here, this is just the body itself. All, all the body parts are here. Uh, and then I use a sprite resolver to, you know, get all these uh, <clears throat> frame by frame pixels and then render them into my sprite renderer plus the animations here. Um, definitely, if you see here, my model for the, uh, for the hero uh, is broken down into components. For the head, we have the hair, the actually have the he head shine. Uh, the eyes, I just, uh, you know, want to hide the cheek blush for the moment. Uh, I, we will have facial hair, uh, head accessories and other accessories that we want. We have the hands, the clothings and all these stuff. And these are individually animated and you can, you know, in the game, you will definitely customize it and you will customize the color. You will customize how the look of the head or if it's a, a human race or a elf race. Uh, number of hairs. We have a couple of hair already. Let me just go to uh, the idol, which is a super long neck. Okay, so the hair, we have a couple of hair sprites here. Uh, Yep, two, there we go, or maybe three, which is a female hair, and four, I think is another female hair, and you can definitely uh, customize the color. Let's uh, customize the color by making it a little bit blue. Sweet. So that's how we can customize it. Now, if I want to put another animation, I need to add, um, for example, like this, I need to add another category into my library. I think the hair doesn't have any, yep, doesn't have any category for jump. So I need to make sure that the category exists or else it won't animate. So if you go to, let's go to the jump, it's not jumping or the hair is not jumping because there's no category for jumping. So let's uh, create that. Let me stop this. Yeah, pretty funny. Oop, made you first. I will see. And then let's do the jump. Cool. I know I've already uh, sliced all the animations for the hair. So I'll do that first here. So I'll, I have a hair jump, which is this, this one, which was sliced. The other one, I think I haven't actually done it, but this one I've done it. So let's use that. Cool, let's go to hair. And then let's do, oh, not, not yet, not the hair. I need the character first. And then hair number one. Let's add a category. So pretty simple enough. <clears throat> let's do here and jump. And then let's go and add the sprites. So I want hair one. Uh, I'm just going to jump and jump. There we go. Hair one jump. Well, I have facial hair as well. Uh, okay, hero. So that's uh, just that listing. Cool. So let's do jump first, jump zero. Zero. Let's add all the 12 frames. It's one. Now this, this is the only fiddly part 
when adding all these sprites. Uh, usually, when I actually add <clears throat> the, the sprites and their meta, I just, oops, nope, two. I just, you know, rename the, the names inside the meta so that I won't have to, you know, do this. But because, you know, adding, you know, sprites inside the library takes up, you, you can actually predict, I don't know if there is something that you can predict for uh, the hash, because they have hashes inside the, the, the libraries. And I don't know how to do it, but maybe someone knows. Uh, so aside from that, you actually need to know the file ID, that you're, what you're going to put in the, the library. That's why it's a little bit tricky to actually do it, you know, inside the, the, the file itself. So yeah, I have no choice for now. I'm just adding these one by one. Let me just finish this one. And then we'll move to animation. Six halfway, halfway there. Oops. And seven. And eight. Sorry, it's a little bit boring, but almost done. Nine. Oops. Ten. Eleven. And number 12. Sweet. All right, that's good. I'll apply it first and then maybe move that up. Okay. All right, so this is uh, hair number one. So we're, we're, we're going to use hair number one. Let me just go back and <clears throat> let's go to hair number one. There you go. Hair number one. And as you can see, the hair jump is now here. Now we can animate the jump for the hair. Should be easy enough to do. Um, let's go and record that. So once I record that, I need to add a property for the hair. And the property that I want to use is the sprite key. Sprite key. There you go. That's the sprite key. And first, let's just go to jump. Ooh. Why is it up there? Because it's jump number five. Go to number zero. Awesome. Okay, that's the hair part. Let's go one by one. Jump one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and finally, let's go back, jump to twelve. Sweet, and that's the hair and just don't forget this is important you need to make sure that the tangents are constant or else it will just be all over the place cool let's try it out there we go it's now jumping with the hair so yeah pretty awesome and we have a long ways to go for the animation, but we'll hopefully we'll smash everything up, you know, by next week and give you uh, a good, you know, demo again uh, for for the character builder using this new character plus, uh, you know, our very first game scene. Hopefully we we pull that off because, 
you know, uh, we we've, we've been collaborating and trying to get our creative juices in place because you know a new person going on board wanted to make sure that we we are on the same page of what we want to have for our game creatively. So yeah, so what's next after this? I'll, I'm probably, as I said, after I finish all the animation, I will create scripts that will plug this into our character builder. And yep, hopefully you watch that next week. And hope you like the demo. Let's stop this and save it. And make sure that this is not in record or I'll mess it up. Cool. Uh, please support, you know, support us, Candy Cabinets, uh, Jethro Pixel on our game dev journey. Follow us on our website and social media accounts. Um, stay safe. Always have fun. See you. See you soon. Soon, you know, on my next blog. Bye.